Hello, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to automate posting um, to Facebook using Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. Okay, before I get started, a quick run-through of what we're going to cover off. We're going to, one, show you the bot running, show you the magic, show you how cool it is. Two, we're going to talk you through the bot, talk you through the template, which is available on our store, talk you how to configure it in a matter of minutes, no code required to get your bot up and running. Whilst I talk you through it step by step, you're going to be able to learn, you will learn the bot building skills you need to build a bot from scratch yourself. That's cool because you can actually build bots to automate just about anything on the web, including posting to Instagram, Pinterest. So if you're active on more than one social media tool, this is a um, um, platform, this is a really useful tool for you. Without further ado, let's get going. So, okay, let's just run the bot and see what happens. Run on desktop. We're using the files, so we need to, at the moment, ax Axiom to handle files, you need to use a desktop runner. Facebook opens. My hands are here, by the way. I'm not using my keyboard, I'm not using my mouse. I can get on with something else, teaching other people RPA. Photos uploading. Give it a moment. There it is. It's going to click post on Facebook. Again, I've got a few weights in here. When I'm testing this, I've discovered you need to be patient with Facebook to allow it to, to do the processing. Did you see that though? Sorry, I was looking at I should look at that. Did you see that? Like, I'm going to scroll down. And although that post is a, a, a nonsensical test, like, wow, that's pretty cool. Let me just now go back to this page now, close the bot down. Refresh it and we'll see my post. That's your posting automated in Facebook. That's the magic of browser automation. I can post, I can post to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and be nowhere near my computer, which is pretty damn cool. But, 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 what's what else I'm gonna say? Now I'm gonna walk you through and give you those skills to build the bot, to, uh, to basically give you the skills and knowledge to, to use this template and build these bots yourself because it really does just save you hours of time. One customer to just today or well, last night, in fact, you know, emailed me to say thank you, to save three hours a week. Now, considering how little time we have these days, that's quite important. So I'm gonna open up the bot and, and teach you, like, please stick around and learn. Okay, so first step we had with this bot is the read data from Google Sheets. Now, just before I continue to remind you the template on our website, axiom.ai slash templates, you'll find all these steps already in there. You just need to configure them, but it'll take you seconds to click and add them if, if you wanna really give it a go and start from scratch. Now let's keep going. So first of all, we read from a Google Sheet. We use the Google Sheet to store our post information in. Now we could have all our post information for our different, different social media sites in there, but I'm just using this one and I've got a tab called post and posted because I'm gonna, each time it's done a post, we're gonna write it into posted, just like you can see there. And this has got the um, data I need for the post. So in column A, we have a URL, a, a file path, I should say, to the file we want to upload, videos or, or um, pictures. We have a title here, just test and then some tags in the third column, column C. Now, let me open this step. So to configure this, put your spreadsheet name in, choose the sheet name or the tabs, I like to call them here. So I'm reading from post. We're gonna specify first cell A1 and then last cell to AC1 because we only want to one, read one post at a time. And so that limits the amount of the flow of data to the next step because data basically flows downwards in Axiom through the steps. Okay, so go to page in the interact step. Now, first of all, quickly interact steps. Let me just do that. The interact steps, they all, um, they're the magical steps. They're the ones with sub steps for automating the browser. So the first step of an interact step is the URL. I put in the URL of our Facebook um, page. And so then we can do the posting from there. 
I will del obviously with that will be empty. You will need to add the URL yourself. Okay, click on element. So this is where we go to. We've got so we've got our spreadsheet set up. This is where we go to Facebook. Now this is where we just start replicating what we're doing as a human being. So if we were going to manually post, we would click on this and we'd put that in that and blah blah blah. And so that's what we do with the bot. So how do I do that? So I told the bot to go to the right page, go to page. Next, we just need to do a click. So we're going to click on what is your mind? What's on your mind? Sorry. And that's literally there. So now when I did this originally, I found if I click tight in like that, the click didn't work. I need to just go out a little bit, click there. And so that's how you select the button to click on. Well, in the template, the selectors will be set up, but sometimes they change. So you may need to reselect to get, to get this working. Then I have a wait. So why do we have a wait? Because you can see it's a pop-up. So I just want to give time for that pop-up to open before we click into it. Next, I use an enter text step. Normally, you have to select the text field, but something you'll learn if you pick up browser automation, you like it. That is, you can see where the cursor lands. Now, when the pop-up opens, the cursor is already in the correct place. So we don't need to select it. All we need to do is pass the text into that field. And that's really easy. You can insert data. I've got the data already in there. It comes from the Google Sheet. Select the column that you want to insert. No code at all. That's pretty cool, huh? Collapse the enter text. Then we've got the upload file. So again, like the clicks, like the enter text, you need to select the button where the file is uploaded. Then we pass the file path from the Google Sheet into here. And that's that step set up. So now you're getting the pattern. Now you're realizing how easy it is. And um, but not all browser automation is. Sometimes it can be frustrating. So, so pay attention and you'll learn learn what you need to, to get through it. So here, um, the upload. I just discovered the first time I was running the bots, I wasn't leaving enough time for the image to upload. Now, if you're going to upload videos, you'll probably need to change this to about 30 seconds. It should be 30,000 roughly. So I did five seconds that seemed to work but if you have a tool sort of like the bot works once but doesn't the next it didn't the upload stage didn't work it's probably just needs a bit more time now it's best to be generous and work your way down to optimize your bot as you get it going but weights are a pretty handy thing for a browser automation so by and large signs that you may need a weight is that if, if you run the bot and um you're expecting something to happen you kind of see the image load in but it's not finished and the bot does something else that means you may need to add a wait to give the bot enough time to allow the um, Facebook to finish its its process okay so we add a wait there then we click there's another click step and that's just onto the um, post button here but bear in mind, as you can see, that button is grayed out. We don't want to select a grayed out button because it'll probably have different classes for, that for our selectors. And our selectors will probably try and click a, a grayed out button or a disabled button. So type some dummy text in there and then select your post on Facebook button. Press confirm. And that's essential. Most of the bots set up. Um, next, I just add a wait at the end. That's because basically Facebook needs to talk to its back end and tell them there's a new post on its way and that we need to save that post. So give give Facebook enough time before we, we close the bots operation down. Finally, as I mentioned, we, in the Google Sheet, we have a posted to. So that's just a tracker. So here in, in the right step, we just post and we do the sheet name posted and then we pass the Google Sheet data in. So it's just, we know what post it is and we have this toggled on add to existing data. So the list just grows. If you have it on clear data, the data is cleared on every run. Okay, almost done. So a delete step, why do we have a delete step? Because we re read one row of the sheet at a time. So we need to delete the row when it's been done. So that's exactly what we do. The, the bot goes, reads the sheet, opens up Facebook, does the post, reads the row, 
so I read the row already, um, right, right posted, then it deletes the first row, and then the bot's ready to go again because there's a new row at the top because we've deleted the first one. So we just delete one row at a time and it's from the post sheet, not the posted. Okay, finally, most of you probably will just want to do one post at a time. In that case, just delete this step or disable this step. And um, I should also show, actually quickly, I've just remembered one thing, quickly testing your bot, right? You don't want to post when you're testing, just test, test and see it works. So disable your post on Facebook button. You can do it by clicking on this menu here, press, press, disable step. That is pretty, so that's pretty handy when you want to test. You enable it, by default, the template will have that on. Enable it when you're ready to do your posting. Again, the jump step you can disable or have working. This sets the amount of jumps you can do. You don't obviously don't want to do 200 posts, but and this will jump you back to step one, where we read a new row from the Google Sheet. Cool, that's it. If you take those skills and you learn the art of browser automation, you will be saving yourself time. You can build this bot yourself and other bots completely from scratch. It's as simple as adding steps like you see here. Browser automation, I can't recommend it, learning it highly enough. I am the co-founder, so I'm completely biased, but I absolutely think it's an amazing skill to learn. One that will be part of CVs. Cool, thank you.